we were living in eastern Kentucky, uh, and I was uh, teaching school, uh, and um, had never done any kind of drugs. Uh, I think I got drunk one time when I was in college, uh, and and I should have, you know, I drank myself into a, a blackout the very first time I ever drank. Well, that should have been some kind of indicator to me that I might have a problem. But I didn't like the feeling of not remembering what happened, so I never drank again. I was sent to the hospital, um, and they gave me a shot uh, of Demerol when I got to the hospital. And I remember laying there thinking, uh, where has this been all my life? I couldn't believe that, you know, that a shot like that could make me feel um, differently. And, and it, uh, you know, now in recovery, uh, we call that feeling a feeling of comfort and ease that we never really got um, from anything else. Two weeks of me getting that shot of Demerol, uh, someone who had never even gotten a speeding ticket in his whole life, um, uh, I was committing uh, felonies. that, you know, that, that that would be fine. You know, I just, at that point, wanted everybody to leave me alone. Um, but my, my daughter uh, was always uh, very outgoing, uh, was involved in, uh, you know, different things at school, cheerleading and stuff. Um, she always had friends over and she was always going to friends' houses. Well, I didn't know until after I got into recovery um, I found out that while I was in the barn, um, she stopped doing all of that because she was so worried about me that she would come out to that barn three, four times during the night to make sure that I was okay. I can look back on that and say, if I hadn't went through everything I had went through, I would not be sitting where I'm at today. So, you know, I try and tell the guys that are coming into the program when they, you know, come in, in my office and talk about, oh gosh, I've done, this has happened to me, this has happened to me, that's fine. It's supposed to have happened to you. Now what are you going to do? How are you going to turn those things into something that will change your life in profound ways going forward?